Hello everyone, it's Marcia from Then and There. I have another journal I wanted to share with you guys today. This one is called Wildflowers. It has a wildflower theme. It has wildflowers throughout as well as on the cover. Um, it is a soft cover. It is um, in frame. Frame. There are. Um, uh, it's frayed. It has frayed edges. <laughs> um, it's stitched all the way around. It has a tie closure here, which is attached to the front and the back covers. Um, the cover itself is canvas, which I have sprayed with inks using um, Tim Holtz dyes I, um, as masks just to create like a background image. And then I took little scraps of fabric and created these little um, flower type images. I um, think they look like little poppies or buttercups and little um, Queen Anne's lace and things like that. Just little flowers that you might find out in the wild. Um, there is a peach colored um, lace which I hand dyed um, covering the spine. The back has more flowers as you can see. Um, the stitches, I mean the signatures are two signatures and they're stitched to the spine. On the top here is a little piece of ribbon which I have clipped on a tassel made of different fibers, different colors, and laces, and some threads, and um, pretty fabrics and things like that. We'll go inside. The inside fabric is this uh, floral fabric which has warm um, uh, warm tones to it. The colors throughout the book are mainly this kind of peachy pink color, but there are other colors throughout. Um, this has a large pocket on the inside which goes clear through to the back. On the pocket here I have clipped a little, uh, little bulb pen, garment pen with some beads and a wood charm here with a bird and uh, Flower on some vintage wallpaper layered up with some book page. This is a vintage image. I got several vintage images from Graphics Fairy and the old design shop of wildflowers that I made journaling cards out of. This one was printed on a book page which I had um, gessoed and inked. And then I um, did the same on the back so you can use it as a writing space. You could also put a picture on the back if you chose to. This is a book page from a um, book about herbs. Um, this one is chamomile. It has a, uh, an old um, recipe here for oil of chamomile from eight, um, 1588, which I thought was interesting, as well as a beautiful image of chamomile flowers. On the back side is tea tree hair tonic. Um, it was just a book about different um, herbs and how they're used and recipes for them. And there's a pocket here with some fabric stitched on, and there is some stenciling on this page. Gotta stay so you can see the whole book. I put this vintage image of these um, young, looks like young ladies or maybe teenage girls. They look like they were on a farm. Um, it came from an old album, which I was able to get from an estate sale. Um, it looked as though these ladies were on some sort of trip, like a camping trip. Not a camping trip, but like camp possibly, or um, a farm. Um, I don't know. It was just really interesting. It's lots of pictures of these ladies. But I like that there are some flowers here in the front. It looks like they're on an old um, farm equipment or tractor or something, a uh, farm truck or something. I just thought that was interesting. Uh, another image of a wildflower. And a um, vintage bridge card score pack. Uh, Score, bridge, score pad, paper. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. And there's lots of sewing throughout. I um, did this little cluster here with some lace and buttons and this little corner of a um, vintage hanky. This is some avocado dyed paper. I finally was able to um, do some avocado dyeing. I really had fun with it. I really love the way it comes out with this real earthy... Um, warm pink color, kind of a, a dusty pink, I guess you'd call it. Really liked that. So, And everything else in the book, except for some of the book pages, are coffee dyed. This is a book page of a botanical, 
These are vintage botanical plates from the 1800s. This one is Daisy and Dandelion. And on the back side, I stitched on an old music sheet. It says Goldenrod. And the name of the song is Flower Dance. This is a book page here, um, a little saying called In the Fields. And I did some stamping on the back and I stitched around it as well as inked it. Some graph paper here with a light stenciling of some cherry blossoms and some lace and pinned on here is a little bead and um, a bead charm. <laughs> a vintage book page of some dried um, wildflowers. A little stenciling here. This is an image from a book of some flowers. Lots of flowers throughout, <laughs> throughout of course. It's called wildflowers. Some stamping. Um, this was an old book page that I took out and gessoed and inked and then stitched on this image. I really like the um, tour um, edges and the coloring of the book. The name of the book was called Popular Girl. I just thought it was interesting um, and did the same on the back and then stitched on this for some journaling and put on a die cut. This is a... Um, stitched on pocket with just a couple little, there's a vintage image and a vintage tally card for bridge. I like the flowers on there that matches the book. Some writing note paper with some stamping. Some more stenciling. It's a vintage image printed out. Fabric pocket. This is a photo, one of my photographs that, um, it's just on cardstock. This, it was kind of neat. I had envelopes on the paper as it was drying and it left the imprint. Um, a die cut. A card just clipped on here for journaling. It says, her soul was like a meadow of wildflowers gently swaying to the song of the mind. Printed, or song of the wind, sorry. Um, printed with a vintage image. This is a book page. A young girl here, I believe. This was a book of Thumbelina. She's just sleeping here in the wildflowers in the meadow and you got some trim. A vintage image of wildflowers. Um, Book of America. Um, some coffee dyed paper here and I sewed on some lace and another little flower um, applique type thing. And on the inside is a poem called Wildflowers. You can faintly see right here there are some stitching holes. I accidentally sewed it while it was closed one of the times, but um, I did put some uh, masking tape on the back of that. I like, I kind of like the way it looks. It looks um, aged and weathered. Recently, someone commented on one of my videos that my style is earthy, and I really, I really like that description. It it um, suits my style really well I thought and I just um, yeah I'm gonna just roll with that got a picture of a wild rose here vintage image some light stenciling uh, some more stenciling and inking and this is just a piece of fabric stitched on another one of or the other side of the book page of uh, popular girl and has just a writing space with some die cut and a image from a vintage um, book from the 50s of this girl in the field with some wildflowers. There's some light stenciling here of the cherry blossoms. You can see it on both sides. Stenciling here. The dried flowers again. Another one of the little appliques that I made um, to look sort of like a, a poppy. And I put a little leaf right there. The other side of the um, book plate of the botanical print and the music sheet and in here is just another one of those wildflower prints it has some light stenciling on it and this was printed onto shorthand a book page from a book of shorthand and on the back side is music um, paper which I have gessoed clicked on here is just another vintage image of a wildflower some ruffled um, paper and fabric stitched on the edge. Large pocket here with a tag with a little bit of stamping on the back of it. And some lace. Another one of the book plate botanical book plates. And I just collaged or 
um, decoupaged a napkin on here. It says each day holds a special promise. I like the flowers and the butterflies. The, uh, another vintage book page with some daisies. Um, this is a hand crocheted doily here with some rickrack, which has been sewn on, and it makes a little bit of a tuck spot for this journaling card, which is on a book page, and it's um, some violets. Oops, a little bead got stuck. This has a little um, flower um, charm. Some Another die cut of some wildflowers and some fabric, and the other side of the doily. Some little lace and fabric stitched on here. This is a cover of a, a, um, sheet music, which I stitched to the back cover as well. So I just stitched them together. And I like the, it, it was called Goldenrod. And it has things like um, Mayflowers, Moonlight Party, Sabbath Bells, Songs of the Meadowlark, Sunrise on the Lake. Um, I really like the names, titles of the songs. And it makes a large pocket. There's a little cutout there which has a tag for journaling, and this is a book page. It's not vintage, but I wanted to put it in here because it is about wildflowers for spring. And I just thought that was interesting. Um, I'll, I'll do that later. <laughs> Another card here um, with a vintage image and a saying says she wore wildflowers in her hair and joy in her heart. You can journal on the back of that. Another vintage image of some wildflowers. A pocket, a side pocket here with um, a flower applique and some vintage lace collaged on with some book page. And a journaling card with a pressed flower, which I've stitched around um, with, um, sorry, coffee dyed paper under it and then wax paper over it to make this kind of a, um, kind of an airy, sort of image, kind of in the distance type image. I don't know how else to put that. And you can journal on the back of it or put a picture. Some stenciling here, which goes clear through. A fabric tab here with um, a little flower charm. Here is a paper bag, which I've stamped wild and free. And I stitched on some vintage um, eyelet lace and a little uh, die cut. Inside is another one of my photographs, some poppies. And behind it is, it's also a tuck spot behind it, as well as right here. And this is just a vintage image of some clover. And this is the, some more of that avocado dyed paper. I love the transfer on that one. Some writing paper. Oops. This is another one of those um, pages which I just folded and stitched some little um, applique on and some lace. And inside is a poem, um, Hearts Like Wildflowers. And it is attached with this um, brad, so it does turn, but it is attached, which you can also write behind it or put pictures. And to cover the other side of the brad is this um, flower applique, which I have glued on. I uh, had to put a daisy chain in here, so I did, um, and inked it up a little bit. It's stitched on. A fabric pocket here with some lace and trim, and a vintage image of wildflowers, some daisies. There's some stenciling here, tiny stamp. Another vintage image printed out. Another flower um, little applique stitched on, and you, there's a stem. This is the other side of the music paper, which makes another large um, pocket with a tag for journaling. A little lace tab here with another um, yellow flowered charm. The other side of the vintage book page. It has a poem here called Wood Thrush. Um, some fabric and lace stitched on this side pocket with another vintage image and music sheet. All gesso so you can journal on it. This is the back side of the botanical, um, yeah, book plate is what I'm trying to say. A um, little card here for journaling and another poem with some wildflowers on it. 
and that is the Wildflowers Journal. It is six by nine, and all of the details will be, or sorry, I think it's six and a half by nine. And it is going to be listed on my Etsy, and all of the details will be in the listing. So you can check them out. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.